After work one night, I came home to thousands of ants raiding our colonies. This unwelcome wild colony had many of our ants surrounded and even managed to squeeze into some test tubes resulting in an all-out war. A war I was not prepared for. Unfortunately, there have been significant casualties in our collection as the army of invaders was great. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of The Ant Keeper, where I upload every week about all things ant related. If you find yourself enjoying this video, then subscribe and join the AK Colony. Your support really helps me out and I really appreciate it. What a week it's been. After a long day at work, I came home and checked in the ant room, like I do every other night to see how everyone's going. Unlike every other night though, I stumbled across every ant keeper's worst nightmare. An army of wild ants had made the way inside the ant room and were actively attacking every queen ant and colony we have. To be honest, I just stood there in shock. Everywhere I looked, I saw more and more ants swarming and attacking our colonies. My heart just sank. AK Colony, I did my best to save what I could. But a couple of hours later, once the storm had calmed, I was disappointed with how many casualties there were. The wild ants were across all areas of where our colonies are kept, including the nests on the highest shelf, the test tubes in the middle two shelves, and the glass tanks on the bottom shelves, and even the secret queen ants and colonies on my new equipment shelf. I decided to get myself a second shelf to store all my bits and pieces, since I was running out of room. Keeping everything on one shelf like I have been doing for the last couple of months was causing too much disturbance to the other colonies. I figured this would be a perfect space to keep any secret queen ants or colonies since they would be out of sight. But unfortunately, the wild colonies still found them. The following ants have experienced some sort of casualty from the invasion in order of least affected to most affected. First, I want to mention I didn't get any footage of the attack simply because my initial instinct wasn't to pick up a camera, rather it was to help our colonies survive. The newly moved in Golden Tail Sugar Ant experienced about a 10% death rate amongst their workers and soldiers. All the deaths were present by those who were actively defending in the outworld. Luckily this colony was big enough to defend themselves until backup arrived. I'm proud to say these workers and soldiers successfully defended the colony and managed to keep the queen and all the brood safe. Our Mimesia Nicrocinta colony was second to experience deaths. I haven't done an update on this colony since I first introduced them to you. I have been waiting for the second generation to develop into workers, which was just around the corner. This colony had three workers and three very well developed larvae. Sadly, all the workers died the day after the war ended. I'm so disappointed with these results. This was my favourite colony in our collection. The bright side, however, is that the queen and her larvae have survived and appear to be doing well. Hopefully this queen will bounce back with the next generation of workers not too far off. AK Colony, it gets worse from here. I've kept some of the dead colonies to show you and others I've already cleaned up. One of our golden tail bull ants and her eggs didn't make it. The queen died two days after this mess was cleared. The colony of banded sugar ants didn't make it either. I had also bought a second meat ant colony which was doing great. Somehow the invading army managed to get inside the test tube and attack the meat ant colony. At that time the workers had killed the intruders. However the queen died the next day. And this was the same for two secret colonies I was preparing for up and coming videos. This is a huge setback. One that has taken me a couple of days to process and get over. There is some good news though. Almost all the queens and colonies and test tube setups survived. And every colony that lived inside an Oz ant's nest and outworld remained untouched. Secure by their fortified escape proof housing. I checked over every one of these colonies and there was not a single member of the invading army that managed to get inside one of these Oz Ants setups. Since that night, I have taken measures to stop the army from invading again. There were small gaps around my window frame that they were using as a highway to get in from the outside. I've sealed these areas with silicon. However, the workers have just found another way in. So I thought to myself, what can I do to try and stop this from happening again? 
I figured the only way was to find the colony's nest by following the trail. Here's a video I made earlier with my phone. This is my attempt at trying to figure out where the ants have come from. I'm going to start here at the banded sugar ant uh, nest. This is where I first saw them. When I first walked into the room, this is what I saw initially. And there was just hundreds of ants just inside this tank alone. Um, just swarming everywhere, eating the food, attacking the ants. It was terrible. Uh, we run along here around the bottom end of the rack. I can still see any ants getting around. We follow up here. This is where there's still some left getting around, still alive. So it follows along a couple more over here. That's when we lead up into the window frame. What I've done for the time being is got some wet paper towel and blocked off the corner where they were coming inside it's just like in there the little hole there it is from the outside into the inside and this is just full of ants now absolutely everywhere but i figured trying to find where the nest is seems like the best way to try and stop this from happening again. Maybe if we isolate the colony, we can stop this colony from invading our ants again. So that's the inside. I might go, I'm gonna go around the outside and keep following the trail. It's gonna get a lot harder from here out, but we'll see what we can find. Okay, the hunt on the ants trail continues. I'm on the other side of the window frame. And as you can see, there's a whole lot of ants bunched up trying to squeeze through that little hole that we saw earlier and some more ants they've seemed to make it through or maybe trying to get back in around the outside now i have found some more there's another one right here we keep following the window frame some more here unfortunately these ones appear to be dead I'm not sure why these ones didn't make it um, he looks like it could still be alive yeah he's alive still these ones are dead. There isn't any other ants trails around, although I have noticed it sort of stops there, but I did find some more via my garden shed, which is where I found ants in the past. Here they are. So you may remember from a video I did really recently, um, I caught a wild colony inside the shed. There's actually a few colonies of these Iridomomyx um, species, there's Iridomomyx ants in the shed. Um, I think there may be more than one colony. There may be a couple of colonies in here. Um, there's a lot of firewood stored in here. That's where I think they've come from. So you can see the trail sort of continues. It goes along the grass a bit. Um, you can see that. It's a bit hard to film in the grass. You can't really see it that well, but it does trail through from that window frame eventually onto this shed and you can see an entry point right here right there is the entry point so maybe if we go inside the shed we can see where they're nesting see if we can find where the colony is but it's great that we've isolated the colony is in fact inside the shed so if we come around this side Admittedly, I don't use this shit a whole lot. Other than my lawn. It's pretty messy. Because I have more stuff than I have space. Uh, so previously, I found the old colony of uh, the wild colony that I caught that was inside my drill bits. Um, I found, I think it was here. Here somewhere. Uh, and it looks like Looks like there could have been another colony because the colony that I caught, I, I caught everything. There was nothing left over. Um, but there were other workers getting around in different corners of the shed. So maybe they have now taken this timber, this firewood as their home. Uh, and as you can see, there's tons of activity here. Now it's worth noting too that uh, where I live in particular, I've had a lot of rain recently. In fact, it's some of the worst flooding in my area um, in decades um, 
And so it's quite likely a lot of these ants are just seeking refuge. Uh, staying inside the shed, it's really warm in here, which is great for the brood. And, uh, and so they've just naturally started growing and they've needed to look for more food. That's, that's what I think that's happened. So have a look in here. Lots of activity inside there. We can see the moving brood and the trail sort of continues. Up along into there. See if we can find. See, I just want to see if I can see any eggs. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Some queens, more brood, lots of brood. Why can't I ever find bull ants in my shed? Yes. All right. Well, this is likely the culprit. There's a queen there. It's just taken, taken off. Another queen. Wow. Okay. So this is, this is very likely one of the colonies. It, I'm just going to put this back so it's not disturb them too much. There's a gap underneath this box, which is what they've been living underneath. It's probably more probably multiple colonies really around in this area yeah see so it keeps keeps going well this is definitely definitely the colony that's invaded our ants um, it's not their fault that they've taken captive over our area but it's it's really great it's really great that we did find the ants that are persecuting owls we're just going to try and find a way that we can stop this from happening long term the ants can't live here in the shed because uh it's just it's just not possible it's going to keep causing disturbance and and uh yeah it's just it's just not going to work so we have to find some sort of arrangement um, to move these ants um, into more permanent care um yeah okay well it's a success that we found the colony Disappointed I couldn't find the bull ant colony in my shed, but you get what you get. And uh, yes, we'll uh, try and figure out what to go from here. We'll try and figure out what to do from here, rather. Some more. Absolutely, they're just everywhere. Okay. My goal now that I have located the colony is to capture and nurture it. Long term, they can't live inside my shed forever. Until then, I'll be careful not to accidentally bump and risk harming this beautiful wild colony. When tough times like these arrive, it's key to get back up and move forward. My plans from this week on is to rebuild our collection, to replace the affected colonies, closely monitor the rest of the collection, especially for the next couple of days, continue to defend against any unwelcome visitors, and eventually look at capturing the wild colony in my shed. For those who keep ants at home, consider having a look around where you keep them. Investigate if there is room to prevent an all-out war on your colonies. Keep your areas clean and remove any food that may attract wild ants from finding your treasured colonies. If you made it this far, then make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. It really helps me out. Also, have you subscribed and become part of the AK Colony? If you haven't, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe and join the Ants Keeping community and be a part of one of the fastest growing colonies here on YouTube. I'd like to know from you, have you ever had a wild ant invasion before? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, Ant Keepers Unite.